Welcome back to the Guggen Lab, guys. Today we're talking about one of my favorite baits of all time, and that is the buzz bait. So for those of you guys who do not know, a buzz bait, which is this little guy right here, in this case, I'm using the Guggen Squad Hummer, little 3 8 ounce guy. This is a great topwater lure. I know it looks kind of funky to somebody that may not know what this is. You've got like a jig head with a skirt, a wire, and a blade. But this thing could be one of the most effective topwater lures when the time is right. I got this thing paired up with a Guggen Squad muscle rod, which is equivalent to like a seven foot three, heavy power, fast action, a lot of muscle behind it, hence the name muscle rod. And that's because you're fishing this thing around a lot of grass, a lot of heavy cover, where you may have to muscle a fish out of that stuff. I also paired it up with some pretty heavy braid. I think I've got some 50 pound Guggen Squad braid for the same reason, to try to horse a fish out of some of this real heavy stuff. I try to pair this thing up with a pretty fast gear ratio reel. Now, brand obviously doesn't matter, something fast. That's because you don't have to be cranking this thing at a pretty, pretty decent speed just to keep it on top of the water because this bait does not float on its own. You're looking to crank it to where the water actually pushes this blade and makes it spin like that. Creates a cool little squeaking noise. You can even bend this wire right here, bend the blade down to where it's actually gonna start hitting that metal blade and it creates a whole new different sound as far as retrieval like i said the main goal is to get this to keep this thing on top of the water so to do that we'll make it a long cast and you guys can see my rod tip is kind of up right now that's just to ensure that the bait stays on top as i'm just cranking it in i start to lower my rod tip and really the idea is when i lower my rod tip i'm just waiting for that explosion to happen or that slurp and once it does and my rod tips down i can just lift right up into a hook set hammer that fish this might be the key to the things Ooh. He's not as big, but I'll take it. Oh, come here, baby. Oh, it's another nice fish. Oh my gosh, man. Oh, oh come here, baby. So as far as like what I like to target with a buzz bait, it's pretty simple. Some type of vegetation, whether it's just like grass, hydrilla, loose pads like this right here, any type of green stuff, that's what I want to target with a buzz bait. You can also target hard structure like a lay down or something like that, but for me it's all about grass here in the south. And I'm looking for either like an edge of hard grass or like a, a little a lane through the pads where I can work this buzz bait. And one thing I think a lot of people don't know about a buzz bait, it's surprisingly weedless. And what I mean is you can drag this thing through pads if you, if you kind of know what you're doing, if your rod tip is up and you're going really quick. You can get through those pads relatively easily. And once you drop off onto the edge of the water and it's already kicking and moving, a lot of times that can elicit a reaction strike from fish who are just kind of hanging out on the edges of this thick vegetation. Like any bass fishing lure, you got multiple sizes, multiple color options, and with this bait, multiple trailer options. Now, as you guys can see, I got a little saucy swimmer on there, a 3.8 inch. You can also use, you can use a little buzz toad, like a Guggen Baits explode toad. Salty swimmer, obviously, but here's the thing. Get yourself comfortable, get a confidence trailer on there. You can pretty much use just about anything. It's all about finding what the fish want and getting them to attack this thing like they should. All right, folks, that's about all we need to tell you about this bait right here. Grab you one, chuck it around some grass, catch your PB. If you guys want more tip videos like this, smash the thumbs up button, make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you again on the Google Lab.